Hi Scorpio, welcome back in. So Scorpio, okay. So let's see what messages come through for you. What do you need to hear, Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, right? So, hmm. Scorpio, I see you blocking something. I see you resisting something. Can be a person, can be a situation, but there is something you feel is karma, is justice. There's something trying to return to you or there is a situation which is trying to revive back in your life. And you're standing on to a point that what has been done was like justice served, right? Uh, for some of you, I see, I don't really feel the revenge thing here. No, it's not revenge or ego. It's just an energy that justice has been served. Universe is, you know, if it is not already done, I think this is happening this week. You're going to feel that universe has delivered karma to somebody right this person is turning away uh, i see they're coming from a place of commitment family marriage maybe somebody who is little money minded i'm picking up virgo taurus virgo capricorn energy here somebody is not in a healthy shape in your surroundings this person is coming from a place of uh, uh, a place where they have been really confused and fucked up right I see this person has been soul searching for a very long time. They're trying to stay stable. It can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But uh, I see after all the stability, after all the things that they have achieved here, abundance maybe, they still feel something is missing. And I see this person feels that they cannot move forward in their life uh, till the time they talk to you. I don't know what they want to talk about or I don't know what they want to convey. But this person feels that after so many things that are happening in their life, they still want to express something, talk to you about something because this is how justice is going to be served. This is how karma works, right? And somebody needs to come back and end a cycle maybe or start a cycle. I don't know. But somebody feels that some things have been unfair. You, on the other hand, you feel that universe has, you know... <laughs> What's done is done. I see you this is oh just give me a second. So the cards flipped over. Somebody has this strong urge to come back to you and maybe apologize. I don't really see the apology right now, but I do see justice is energy. So justice is the energy where somebody feels uh, somebody, maybe you or the other person. It's karma, right? It's karma has to be served. So I see you are in the resistance mode. You're entering this week very strong. You're blocking the opposition here, fighting against something and giving an answer to somebody in a very strong way. You're holding on to your point about something here. So Ten of Wands. Wow, two cards here. <laughs> I think for you the cycle is over wheel of fortune this is definitely crazy how karma works right and uh, it's not that you're very happy about this whole development because emperor is showing me that yes you're holding on to a point but still i think there was a baggage here there was a baggage here for some of you i see you still carry you for a very long time you carried this baggage uh you know on your mind in your heart that something weighed you down and now when this thing is turning around i definitely see the baggage getting over here wheel of fortune cycle shifting massive change in your life after this energy shows up i see somebody misses you a lot yeah they see you as a soulmate they're very emotional about the situation uh for someone specific uh, scorpio this person is thinking about you see here you are and this person is thinking about the uh, cups i see this person has a lot of offers now but they're thinking about the cup you have been offering to them in past or you have offered to them in past and uh can be a fire sign aries leo sag this person really wants to invest now for someone specific that i'm picking up that this person has uh explored a lot of options and they feel that nothing matches you now 
You, on the other hand, are definitely coming from a place of baggage and there's some cycle. there were some cycles in your life which were weighing you down, but I see there's a strong comeback with the emperor. You know, no matter how much challenges I face in this situation, I'm going to come back like an emperor here. So I see you like an emperor here, Aries energy. Don't go by the gender. This is more of the more of an energy where you are strong, been there, done that, now making very learned decisions in your life and your emotions are not affecting your uh, decisions. You're making practical and balanced decisions, concrete decisions in your life. Now when the cycle gets over, I see you understanding that the chapter, you're blocking something and the chapter is getting over. There is some sense of which shoulds, coulds here. Uh, this eight of swords energy is showing me that uh, more than answers if this person actually returns or if there's an energy of this person coming back uh, for some of you this can actually be in dreams so be very careful what you dream of if somebody comes back in your dreams and apologizes now this is very specific of course but telepathically i see this person is trying to connect to you and if you're not able to sleep at night i'm picking up somebody's missing you heavily now when the cycle is getting over because i see for a lot of you you're blocking this energy and you're like okay justice served right stays balanced so now you are more than answers now you're finding yourself in more questions what next okay universe now you can totally see that how universe works if someone did something to you someone has done a number on you now you're realizing that universe definitely has delays it, it brings a lot of delays to you but it is never going to be unfair, right? So I see that's coming to you. But Eight of Swords is showing me that it's actually puzzling you that now what next? You can't see the future. You can't see the direction. Whatever was happening in the past, I see it's all coming to drop dead here. Endings. So let's see. Let's move forward. What is your situation in the near future? Okay yeah wow okay i see this person definitely yep see the cards are return re, you know repeating here you're confidently moving forward now i see for a lot of you a lot of cycles coming to an end in your life and you're like okay now i'm moving forward there's a lot to there's a lot universe is going to offer me maybe i'm not able to see it right now but i'm sure that universe is going to offer me a lot and i see that sense of confidence in your energies especially when i see the emperor uh you know energy here emperor aura but this person is watching you and watching your confidence right and uh king of wands i see little jealous type especially when this person is feeling rejected you might be rejecting this person of course i'm picking up this from the very beginning but still there are some thoughts on your mind but for a lot of you i see this is the person who's watching you nothing compares to you scorpio and i see i see eight days eight weeks eight months energy here four months energy maybe in past four months you have dealt with this person or maybe in the near future you're going to be dealing with this energy but i see this person is watching your confidence and the more they see you confident they see that nothing compares to you all these cups are meaningless the only cup is this which is amazing which is beautiful okay what else we can expect here temperance i don't think that you'll be entertaining this energy i do feel that this had a very big impact on you and you did get into it maybe in the recent past when the cycle with this person ended you were in some kind of what shoulds coulds but i see you confidently moving forward and moving on you're turning this person down for a lot of you yes temperance is the sad energy i'm picking up here for a lot of you, there's a feeling that I need to fill my own cup, right? I, I just need to step back and fill my own cup for some time. And uh, yeah, somebody's causing a lot of... For someone specific, uh, Scorpio, I see somebody's going to put a fight here. This person is bringing a lot of conflict back in your life. And the first thing and the most important thing that you are doing and you want to do here is to avoid conflict. Can you see temperance stepping away from the conflict? Can you see this energy? I don't think that in specifically if somebody's putting uh, a lot of fight in your surroundings or somebody is bringing a lot of drama back i don't think you want to entertain this energy this person seriously wants a judgment whoa conversation you uh, convers okay <laughs> conversation with you makes them happy oh they're all lost they're all lost i see this person has really explored a lot of options after you and one thing they can feel is that nothing compares to you 
Wow. Page of Pentacles. Okay, for some of you, I see this is going to be a response. Because you're stepping back, this is leading to a lot of conflict because I don't really see you want to entertain this energy. But there is a sense of force in this person's energy to fight for you, right? And seven, uh, this Page of Pentacles is showing me that uh, you're going to respond sincerely to this energy. Now, you're going to be uh, saying that, oh, my ass, I'm never going to reply to this person and so and so. For, but for very few of you, I'm picking up some sense of, uh, can you see this? Angelic presence, hey, little angels. So some compassion might come back when you see this person fighting for you. And you might feel like taking things in your hands and, you know, actually reply to them. By replying doesn't mean giving them a chance. So don't take me wrong here. Because I see, yeah, somebody here. I see Leo. I see death, four of wands. For some of you, I'm picking up that this person hasn't resisted something or they have been resisting something in their life and there's a connection coming to an end in their life or... Something is definitely happening back in their home. I'm also feeling that. Anyway, I'm just quickly going to see what is this page of pentacles? What is this person bringing back to you? I see a lot of drama, a lot of drama. And for some of you, this drama is uh, motivating you to reply to them. You're going to reply to them possibly, but or maybe you're just going to see and analyze what offer they are giving you right now or what what is this offering they are giving to you what is this page of wands energy i saw the hierophant though chariot beautiful queen of wands hermit okay interesting i do see that there is love two of cups under the deck this person did oh knight of cups knight of wands a oh my god oh my god two of cups knight of cups knight of wands ace of cups king of cups this person is fucking in love with you and this is so so much i think it, it's too late for them to realize that though but yeah for some of you you're like okay you are analyzing the proposal and offer but you're a very different person now i do see king and queen of wands it's like you are amazingly beautiful and charming and attracting a lot of eyes and this person is watching you is watching your confidence here but the hermit is showing me that uh, I think you have been through a tough phase because of this person or it's some kind of soul searching happening here that is it worth it? After all that we have been through, after all that I have been through because of this person, is it worth it? So I do see this is some ex energy who is trying to put a fight for you now. That's going to be very interesting. So, okay. What is this emperor energy for Scorpio? Passion. Wow. Patience. For a lot of you, I see you waiting for the right kind of romance in your life. Scorpio, if you're single. And those who are, for someone specific, I do feel like uh, this is a message for some very uh, patient energy out there who's waiting for, who's trying to manifest a relationship in their life but they're patiently waiting for the right one the right masculine energy in their life and for a lot of you i see you've turned away from this person what is this four of swords energy here take a break for a lot of you i'm picking up that um, if you it's not just about taking a break from any, any specific person it's more about taking a break in your life and not really actively dating i see you coming from that place because i am picking up yeah for some of you, I see there have been some broken relationships or abandonment. I'm picking up some kind of energy where somebody has been... Oh, I just said that. See? Once I did love and abandonment. I see for some of you, um, you have had your own set of experiences which were troublesome. And more or less, I'm picking up that you need a break now. Enough. <laughs> And I see you taking a break and then some kind of confidence coming back in your energy and you want to move on, you want to move forward. See, union. Ah, okay, see? King of Wands. This person so wants a union. So wants a union here. Uh, for 80% of you, I see rejection on your mind, right? So I won't be shocked if you actually reject this person. Yep, they are here to offer you a committed relationship this time. Stability temperance you're stepping back for sure you're stepping back from sh for sure from, from this conflict 
for someone specific twin flame stages this is showing me some kind of very deep connection you have shared with this person and uh, one-sided love abandonment these two cards are again there for some of you i see this is somebody who abandoned you in past and this person is going through a tough phase because of th that not because I see this person did not realize your worth at that time and that irritates you know that's the most irritating thing when somebody just can't see your value just can't see just can't appreciate what you have been doing for someone till the time you're gone till the time it's no more there and now I don't know it's it's in your hands whether you want to give it a try or not but honestly from the energy I see on the table this is some ex who has done a number on you and I don't think that you are actually interested in giving this person a chance. So if you're waiting on to something, somebody and you're feeling that, oh, I want that person back in my life, probably it's not that person we're talking about, right? If you're stuck on somebody, if you, if you feel that that specific person is going to come back, I don't think we're talking about the same person here. This is somebody who desperately wants union with you and this, I think you have turned away from this energy gender roles and second chances yeah somebody's here for second chances express your love this could be the one solitude yeah healthy sexuality here so um scorpio i do see somebody here looking for second chances the ball is in your coat now <laughs> i'll leave you here guys thank you so much guys for watching bye